everybody, Tracy here with BibleJulieMinistries.com and in this video you are going to learn how to make some really quick and easy bookmarks uh, to give away to a friend or a ministry. So if you are ready, let's go ahead and get started. I will be using a paper trimmer, maybe a stamping platform. This is by Tim Holt. He doesn't make this anymore, but there's one called the Misty that you could get. And I'll be using the side that says clear on this one. Or if you don't have that, you can just use a stamping block if you are using stamps for your bookmarks. I will be using Ranger Archival ink, scissors. I have a bunch of eyelets here on the side that I'll be using. I'm gonna push those to the side, as well as my trusty crop -a dial And this is to set those eyelets. So I'll be using those. And in terms of my new fun illustrated faith uh, goodies that Dayspring sent me, I'm gonna be using this sheet titled beautiful brush strokes and on the back of that um, it has some other really pretty flowery patterns so the reason why i chose this one is because my bookmarks i want them to have some color but i don't want them i don't want it to be a solid color i want it to have some kind of pattern nice color with a pattern and then i'm going to put some ephemera on top of it and make it a really quick and easy fast bookmark i'm not going to spend a lot of time on it i might use these very awesome washi tape washi tapes for the ladies that i showed in a previous video they're so super cute so i just feel like i want to use those so i put them aside here i'll be using my sticker booklet maybe the stamp set we'll see how i feel um the ephemera and then um that's it so the paper came in this kit the kit that was in the mail the other day and i think it's either tw i think it's 12 dollars it might be 16 but i think it's 12. anywho let's go ahead and get started so um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this 12 by 12 into six bookmarks. And the way I'm going to do that is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the top. So I just put this in my trusty cutter here. Make sure it lines up so that the top is missing. <laughs> and I'm just going to push that right off. You can see I just cut it off really super easy, easy. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this paper at six inches. Because this is a 12 by 12 piece of paper, I'm just going to cut it right in half. Okay. And then I want bookmarks. So I'm going to do about two inch bookmarks and that way I can get, let's see, I think I could get 12 bookmarks out of a 12 by 12. Now if you want to make your bookmarks longer, you certainly can. Um, feel free to do that. I just want to get 12. I want to use this entire sheet of paper <laughs> and I don't want any scraps left over. So that is my reason for doing little two by six bookmarks. And plus, if, if whoever gets this has a little Bible, you know, the bookmark's gonna be perfect for it. You can see, it'll be great. Otherwise, you know, it might be sticking out from the edges. So, now that I have my bookmarks done, that was fast and easy. Now I get to decide what ephemera I'm gonna put on all of them. And I might flip, the, I might flip some, so I'm just gonna, Put them out and see which ones I like, and then I'll flip the pages uh, for the ones I don't like. And I am in love with these ones that have crosses on them. I'm going to keep those as they are. And this one has, I cut this one in so the music's a little bit on the vertical, so I'm going to go ahead and flip that one. I'll use that side. This one's cool. Let's see, I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep that one the way it is. I'm going to flip that one. This one's cool. Boy, they're all, it's so hard, isn't it? Hard to decide. So these are the ones I'm gonna flip over and these three I'm gonna leave and find out later what I wanna do. So that's what I have. I've got all my papers put out. The next thing I'm gonna do is just quickly grab my cardstock sheet here. And again, the idea here is to use what God has provided to me to create some really quick, not only just in terms of resources, but in terms of talent to create some really quick and easy, easy, easy bookmarks um, to bless somebody. So I'm thinking this one can go, I'm gonna go put this one here. And so what I'm, do, what I'm doing right now is just a matter of placement. I'm just kind of eyeballing where these little backgrounds could go, where they could create some kind of cute little kind of frame or background for the next sticker that I will layer on top. So I'm just doing layering. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time worrying or thinking about this, because if I do, I'm going to stop and I might not get these done. And really, I, you know, that's not the point. The point is to come in here, use what God has provided, 
and love on somebody. And that's the goal. So I don't want to spend a lot of time messing around with does it look right or you know should I do this or that. I just want to place these down and just start making these bookmarks. And just all I'm doing right now is putting bases down. Okay, so those bases look great. And now I can come in with these cute little girl stickers, these little uh, Beloved Society stickers and start placing them down as well. So she's super cute. She's gonna go right here on the corner. And you can see I have kind of a method to it all, right? I'm, I start with a bookmark and then I come in with a the cute little girl and, and she's about positioned almost the same in every one. That way I'm not doing a lot of thinking. I'm not going to sit here and spend all kinds of time. I might go a little crazy and put one on the other side just because I think that's where she would go great. And I'm just kind of picking girls at random. I will tell you, this is kind of funny, but when I do things like this where I create things at random, I, you know, the first thing I think you should do is pray over it. Um, and then I create things at random and then I just give them to people. Like I just, I'll send something in the mail and somebody will come back and say that that was exactly what they needed. And <laughs> so it's just amazing how the Holy Spirit works. So don't ever feel like you have to be, you have to choose the right bookmark to give to the right person. Um, because I think you should, um, at least for me, I let the Holy Spirit work on that. I have found that when I let it go and give it to God, he's much better at giving to the person the right thing. So I don't have to worry about it on my end. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Those are really simple and easy bookmarks to do. Let's go ahead and add those eyelets. And, of course, you can do more if you want to. If you do the eyelets, I can do three at a time. Or maybe four. Okay. What I'm using here is called a uh, crocodile, and its job is to put a nice hole in about the center of this bookmark. Boop. There's those. Do the same thing here. So you don't have to do anything like uber elaborate. You can just use what you have, create something awesome, and give it to somebody, and they will be blessed. They will be. I promise you, they will. The fact that you thought of them. I think in our society, we don't think of a lot of people. <laughs> like sometimes we're just so busy with our lives that we don't think about others. And when you do something simple, like make somebody a bookmark or send them a card, it can really brighten their day. Sometimes in the moment, it can save their lives. It depends on, depends on how the person is feeling. So I've got my eyelids here. I'm just going to go ahead and put one eyelid in here in the bookmark just like that. Um, I'm going to remember that to do the crocodile, I need the pointy part <laughs> to be on the hole. It's hard for me to do it well, right now. I haven't done this in forever, so be patient. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the hole. There we go. And now I can just push down, set that eyelet. So now I have a cute little pink eyelet holding that bookmark together. So let's go ahead and keep doing this. And again, these eyelets I just had in a little stash of eyelets. And I just, you know, put things together. And then when I need them, I just take them out and grab them. I don't have to go to the store if I have them on hand. And I'm kind of putting them on as, again, randomly, but they still look great. So I love, um, the reason why I'm doing this, I don't think I told you, was that my girlfriend, Erin, has a ministry. And she has called our beginners group to provide some bookmarks for her ministry. And um, I just got this stash from Dayspring, which is amazing. And I thought, well, there you go. The Lord must want me to provide these bookmarks to her girls. I am not going to do any stamping, although I could do some little stamping on here. I could even do some writing. Um, but I'm not, because I'm going to just leave that up to 
the person who might be wanting to use this bookmark. She might be in a place where she would like to write her own scripture on here or something that speaks to her. So I'm going to leave it blank just because I want her to have that opportunity and that space to do that in. Look how quick and easy and fast that is. I really would like to do these super fast so that you can see how easy it is to be a blessing to somebody without a lot of effort. Sometimes it's easier to cut the edges first to get that to go through the eyelet. But if you have tips for me, I love, I love hearing your tips. So please put those in the comments if you have ways to make my crafting easier. Uh, yeah, I would love to hear that. I just do what I can do with what I have. Okay, again, just pulling through. You don't need to do eyelets either. If you don't have any eyelets, that's not important. The eyelets aren't what is important. <laughs> What's important is Erin's ministry. Oh, that's who's, that was my girlfriend who is doing this, is she wants these bookmarks for a ministry that she's doing. This one kind of popped out. I don't like that, so I'm gonna, here I'm gonna fix this. It's not so hard to fix mistakes sometimes. I think mistakes are always an opportunity to do something different. So I'm just gonna reinforce that top with some washi tape. It's probably not a bad idea to reinforce all of it with some washi tape, huh? There, much better. Yeah, that's gonna be much better. It actually might be better for the next round to put that washi tape on there just to reinforce it. Plus it gives it, I don't know, a cute little embellishment, a little touch, nice little touch to it. So you get the extra reinforcement on top with that washi tape. Plus, yeah, that's much better. I'm gonna do that for the next round. So again, learning and improving, right? Oh, let's do some pink. Ribbon. Now this ribbon, I, again, I've had in my stash. I am. I've been a crafter, crafter for years. Um, crafter, artist, call me whatever you want. Um, really, I'm just using my talents um, to encourage and inspire others in this world. So I love what I do, and I just sometimes I just have a stash of things. I would encourage you to use your stash if you have a stash of things. Otherwise, um, this ribbon you can buy usually um, for less than a dollar. Sometimes, especially this cheap ribbon, you can get sometimes for three for a dollar on sale. Two for a dollar, 50 cents, when it's not on sale, I think, unless it's gone up in price, and then it's like a dollar, and you don't need a lot. Really, uh, gosh, to use a whole spool is exciting for me. So again, I'm just coming in here in the back, feeding that ribbon through trying for my hands not to fumble too much today as I do that. So uh, another quick tip when you're doing these, if you don't add that washi to the back or to it, if you don't add that washi to it, you need to hold that eyelet so it doesn't pull through. Okay, so put your ribbon through the hole, through the back of the eyelet hole like this, like this when it wants to go through. You might have to bend it sometimes, okay. And then hold that eyelet as you pull that ribbon. Don't pull too tight so that you don't rip the paper or rip the eyelet. And then you can cut the ends off. Boop, boop, so quick and easy, right? Uh, let's do a little tiny white one for this one. Okay, let's do this, let's tie this one a little bit, one more knot, why not? See what that looks like. Looks cool, I like it, I'm gonna keep it. Boop, boop, just like so. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, oh, seven bookmarks. I don't know how long that has taken, but I'm thinking a few minutes. Let's go ahead and do the next ones. So we learned from the last time that we want to add some washi tape to it. So let's see what I got now. Okay, I still have some real cute girls. Backgrounds are gone because I used all those, which is great. I've got some other cute little cardstock washies. I could probably have a lot of fun with these little hearts. So I'm going to put those aside. Let's see what I got in this ephemera kit. Because why not? Oh, bigger girls. Ooh, let's see. Do they fit? Oh, yes, they do. 
Hello. So cute. Oh my goodness. I've got to keep her. She'll go, she has to go in my Bible. One, two, three. Look how fast, right? Um, let me kind of... Mm. Oh, fascinating, right? We could do um, we could do bookmarks where the ephemera sticks off off the edge. How cute would that be? So this is the ephemera kit that that um, Dayspring sent me. So now I'm just I, what I'm doing right now is just kind of I am kind of just place doing what's called auditioning. So I'm auditioning pieces. For the bookmark. And the theme, I guess, what I'm coming up with right now is take it off the bookmark page, right? And you, you can see that I do that a lot with some of the things that I do in my Bible journaling is I will take things and I'm like, mm, I'm going to pull it off the page. It makes it look kind of unique and interesting. And I actually, as I see things that I want for myself, <laughs> I just kind of put them aside. <laughs> Because I'm like, I gotta do a Bible journaling kit with that. I gotta do a Bible journaling entry with that. I gotta have the little cute girl that has really close to my skin tone. Tone. So I just kind of put them aside because I'm like, oh, I would love to use them in this, but I really want to use that in mine. <laughs> and I think dearly loved. Yes. You see how easy this can come together. You don't need a lot of. Time. We don't need much of anything. Really just a couple pieces here and there. Super. All right, so now I know where those are gonna go. I wanna add, let's try the little stamp set. I would love to try and see what that will look like. So let's start, let's just pull these aside. I've got them all kind of laid out. You saw how easy that was to lay it out, right? I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue or some teat to the back of this. Scotch Advanced Tape Runner. If you ever did cards in your life, you know why I have that. It's so helpful when you're making cards in bulk. And I want to pop this out, I think, but I'm not going to pop it out before I stamp it. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little piece of pop dot here, or foam mounting tape is what this is called. And I'm just going to place it just so I know where it might go. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my stamping platform. This is by Tim Holt. They don't sell this anymore. There was a huge legal ba battle, I guess. I'm not sure, I don't remember. I don't keep up with that stuff. I just know there was some conflict between patents. This is a brand new sticker, so it's, a, it's having a, a, a brand new stamp, so I'm having a little bit of hard time getting it off the off of its sheet okay so what i do is i just place it where i want it to go push down on it make sure i'm on the clear side here i'm going to open this up i'm going to stamp my stamper stamp 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 i think i got some on the platform itself okay and then i'm going to go ahead and push down pull up see if i like it if i don't like it i can stamp again Okay, not sure I got enough ink on that G, so I'm gonna come over here and do it again. That's a good thing about having a stamping platform, is if you mess up, you get to keep going on, you get to keep on trying. I'm not sure my E is coming through the way I want it to come through, so I'll try that again. All right, that looks good. It's possible I might be having some problems because I put the cardstock on first. Let's try one without it. I also did not condition the stamp, so that could be it as well. Sometimes I can get away with not conditioning my stamps. Well, when I say conditioning my stamps, I just mean rubbing something all across the top of it to kind of get it prepared to stamp. So I might take this eraser and just kind of condition that stamp at the bottom of my eraser. Of course, now it's, I've got little racer marks on it, so I'm gonna take my little towel here and get those off. Well, I should get a clearer image this time after conditioning that stamp. So just ink it up when I'm stamping. I just ink it up to where I think it might look good, and then I press down, come back up, and if I need to do it again, I will do that. All right, good enough. 
Uh, let's see. Don't want to do any other. Maybe I'll do this one, but I'll, instead of speaking to my heart, I'll do some in the background. Some little flower flowers in the background. I did want to do it with a stamping block for those of you who don't have a stamping platform. All you need to do, grab something to protect your work surface. And I usually grab these little baking mats that I have close by. Grab a clear block. I always love these little swirly rosies. Okay. Real quick, condition that stamp. Make sure there's not anything left over from the manufacturing process that would cause that not to ink as nice as I would like it. So I'm just gonna come in here again, a little bit of ink here, and I'm just gonna place that rose. Here and there. There we go. Easy, easy. So we've done a little bit of stamping. Satisfied with, with that. And I've got things kind of here and there on my desk, so I don't know Okay, so put that aside because I can't find the one that I want to use with it. It's somewhere over here hiding. All right, so let's do this one. So a little bit of tape on the back of each of these. One, two, three, super easy. You can even ink the edges if you would like to. So what I mean by that is take you don't need a special anything to do that, but you just take your stamp or your ink and you just kind of hit the edges of it. I like when I do inking the edges, I do like to use a distress tool or a ranger applicator tool, um, but you might not have that. And since this is a quick video, I'm just going to use what I have right in front of me. But you can see how just adding a little bit of color to the background really brings out, kind of frames up this whole thing. Again, really, really easy. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna pop it off as well. I love this. Just having bookmarks that are just not the same as everyone else's bookmarks, right? We're doing things different. And that is what makes it very fun and creative. So yeah, if somebody has you know, requested help in your organization, maybe you guys at your church you have a card making group or something like that, or you just want to love on the girls in your ministry, taking a few minutes out to create bookmarks. I mean, it doesn't take much time. I mean, look at how many we've made so far. There needs to be a heart on these ones that say speaking to my heart. So I'm going to get busy on finding cute little hearts to put on here too. So again, I'm using the sticker pack, and I'm just gonna grab, grab a smaller one. Like that one. Mm, my air conditioner pop just popped on, just turned on. It's, uh, I guess, really hot. It's only, mm, I think it's like 7, 8, 8 a.m. Yeah, it's like 8 a.m. here and the air conditioner's already on. Can you imagine my electricity bill, I kid you not, last month just for electricity. And I keep my house, keep my house around 78, which is comfortable. And my electricity bill was $381 and some cents. Can you imagine getting a bill for $300 just for electricity? I mean, I know people, actually I family members, where their electricity bills are over 400 in Phoenix. 
Can you imagine? What does your electricity bill run you? That's just for electric, so this month I had to increase my budget because water's expensive and just my budget for electric. Let's see, what was my budget this month for garbage and all of that? Let's think. 381, probably close to 500. And I'm like, I was telling Lonnie, I said, boy, there are people. Oh, I forgot to do the washi, which I wanted to do. Eh, forget it. Apparently not supposed to do it. I was telling my husband Lonnie how I was wondering, like, man, I don't know how people can afford to live in in Arizona sometimes with as expensive it is for electricity in the summertime. Like five hundred dollars is like someone's whole paycheck. Ugh. But you know, it's only for a couple months. So if your paycheck you know, I don't know. It's expensive. <laughs> I don't know how to say. There's not anything nice to say about that. Oh, I want to use a pink one. I'm kind of bummed that I forgot to put the washi tape on here, but I don't really want to go ahead and do it and then redo those holes. So, oh well. We're not going for perfection. We're going for kind of love, if you think about it. If you really think about it, this is just loving on somebody because I'm not keeping these bookmarks for me. I cut that ribbon a little short so now my little fingers have to figure out how to get it through the hole. Whoa. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. I think we got it. I think we have it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, tip, don't be so cheap on the ribbon. <laughs> Cut a bigger piece, it will save your fingers. And it will look better. Ugh, I don't like this one. Goodbye. Take that one out. Try again. Pro tip, <laughs> ribbon is cheap. <laughs> Pro tip. <laughs> oh, how funny. I guess you've kind of seen quite a few of my tips in this video because you've seen me cut the ribbon to um, to make it easy to go through the eyelet. You've, I've taught you how to, that you should hold the eyelet before you pull it through. Um, add the washi tape. It's much better than without the washi tape. Um, you've even learned how to thread a ribbon through the hole. I mean, it's just like comprehensive bookmarking. All right. <laughs> Uh, we're almost done. I am so curious to see how long it takes to do these. Just a few short minutes to create really amazing gifts for people. Just to love on them. Not expensive either, right? Especially if you have any of these supplies on hand, you can just, it'd be a great way to use up your stash. If you have some extra paper lying around that you've been wanting to use up, I, so I have a thing with paper being precious. I like this. I'm so committed to using up this entire kit of Beloved Society because I love it so much. And I know if I don't use it up, I'm going to keep it and it'll just be in my stash. And what a waste. Like I just, I have some paper in my stash. I have a nice stash of paper. Um, and then it just sits there and nothing is done with it. And it's, hmm, it's kind of bothers me a little bit. So I'm committed to using up the entire collection that Dayspring sent me. And if I can do something like this, um, where I can send these bookmarks to Erin and she can give them to her ministry, then how awesome, right, to be able to use something that someone gifted me to share with you to give somebody else in in a different ministry. What a blessing. Um, if you're curious about or where I found out about this, Erin um, posted in the Bible Journaling for Beginners community. So if you haven't had a chance to go there, be a part of that community. Just a bunch of women, men, 
an occasional guy pops in, says hi, does some Bible journaling. We'd love to see that too. Um, but it's just women supporting and encouraging each other. We're really good about keeping the positive energy and flow in that group. And it's about Bible journaling, so we post Bible journaling. We encourage each other to grow in the Word creatively. And that's what we do. All right, let's see what we did. All right, there we are. 12 bookmarks to give to Erin's ministry. So I hope that this encouraged you to go out, do something nice for somebody this week or even today if you can. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.